Hi, Junpei Berry here. This is the Mud Goddess and her Mud Skipper. So drawing this took me a while too. I changed her design a little bit. She's in a swamp and she's manipulating this mud all around her. So she's basically the mom friend. She's really nice and she owns an orphanage and uh, she's celibate, folks. She doesn't. She's independent. She doesn't need love life. The uh, thing I want to talk about most is uh, what I drew as the background. But I'm going to ramble before I dig into that. So I've been really busy lately, so I haven't posted any videos or art in a while. I started playing this game called Genshin Impact and uh, my favorite character so far is uh, <laughs> Kaya. <laughs> I've been not the other characters yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing like Zhongli. And, but again, I want to see all the characters in the UA because I like Chinese stuff. Uh, um, okay, so I watched the latest season of Fruits Basket. I have to say I like Rin. I used to see weird fangirls be like, Oh, I hate you because, uh, Hataru is mine. Uh, it's probably jealousy or whatever, but I like her. Like, when I first watched the first Fruits Basket, I didn't really like Yuki. At first, in the new Fruits Basket, like, when I watched Yuki's backstory, I'm like, Oh my god, I know why I don't like him as much. He reminds me too much of myself, like that backstory. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Except, like, I separated myself from other people who act like jerks. But then, like, y you know how Akita whispered things to him in the dark? But, like, don't try not always having a person around you telling you that shit. And just have a dark voice in your head that tells you that shit. Like, sometimes you try to escape from people who bully and hurt you. But you'll get stuck with dark echoes in your head that might be with you the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hotsaru is my favorite. He's funny. I also like the group Yuki surrounded by in that new season. I like his nice side story. And also his girl Machi. Uh, yeah, I relate to her too. Not super relate, but yeah. Sometimes I feel like a void, just like how she described it. Then you kind of see someone that reminds you what it's like to be yourself. It's like, it's weird. Okay, rambling hours done. I'm gonna actually talk about my background art now. I tried to make the water kind of murky, but I'm still having trouble making that muddy swamp look, but I don't want too much mud. And then I laid out all the trees. I also wanted to avoid too much brown, because people think brown looks poopy, and I really don't want people thinking unfortunate things like that. So you all see me probably playing with different layers of color, trying to make lights and shadows, trying to shape out the organic shakes and have a woody texture. I kind of wanted a mangrove uh, swamp of trees that's not exactly planted on the ground with muddy water. Uh, you know, I hope I remembered that random fact right. Uh, for the leaves, I work smart, not hard. I slapped a camo texture, tried to make it more leaf light, add some lights and shadow. Uh, I wanted to make sure the focal point was more clear, that there would be, like, it darker but less light at the end. I tried to darken up the forest and make sure she's in the middle of the light in the swamp. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe, check out for more descriptions below for more ways to reach me if you want earlier or commissions, like through Patreon, Coffee, uh, social media, and stuff. But like, if you want the earliest, it's Patreon. Yeah. So, that that's it. Thank you for watching, bye!